video will be all about gerbil healthcare. First of all, gerbils should never be given a water bath. It's very easy for gerbils to get chills if they are in water and also you could end up getting water on their face which can be uncomfortable for them. So it's best to avoid giving them a bath unless instructed by your vet and if your vet instructs you to do so then make sure you do it safely and quickly so you don't stress the gerbil out. To bath a gerbil, um, not in water, place a bowl of chinchilla sand into their cage or tank, not chinchilla dust as it's too fine and once they have figured out what to do they'll happily roll around in it. This is the best way for them to clean as it is natural, it's fun and the gerbils will have healthier, shinier fur. A health check, check should take place every three days to every week. Signs of illness to look for are runny poos, significant weight change up or down over a short period of time, loss of appetite, drinking much more or much less than usual, lack of energy or sleeping more than usual, unusual swellings, limping, bleeding, clicking, signs of pain, runny eyes or nose, lumps or tumours. I strongly suggest watching How to Administrate Medicine to a Gerbil of Throwing Hamster by Alicia Rachel XX. I'll link it down below. This shows you how to hold a gerbil or Syrian hamster in a safe way to check them all over and of course how to give them medicine, so please go check out her video. If you do spot any signs of illness in your gerbil, take them to the vet as soon as possible. Even if it isn't that much, it's still best to get it checked out as a gerbil can go downhill very quickly as soon as it starts to get ill. I guess I can, can include this as a part of their health. Their average lifespan is two to three years but can live until five or maybe more years than that. So I also recommend having a first aid kit just in case you need to give them medicine or you need to give them water or something. In my first aid kit I share between the gerbils and the guinea pigs. I have three syringes, some pseudocream, tissue which is normally on top of the cage, some cotton buds, nail clippers, some like a bandage but if I did use this I'd just like cut a bit off if I need to use it as like a uh, surgical tissue or something, whatever you call it, and a salt lick. Respiratory problems are fairly fairly common in pups, elderly and gerbils under stress. It's very treatable if it's spotted early on. Symptoms are a clicking noise and a like scruffy and rumpled scent. Type. Gland tumours are the most common type of tumour and is more common in the elder gerbils. This isn't to say all old gerbils will get it. The scent gland is on the stomach and again Alicia Rachel XX's video will show you how to check the belly. First of all it will be noticed as a small hard lump and needs to be treated as soon as possible. It is more found on males but can be found in females. There is a high chance your gerbil will have a successful recovery. Sore noses are another fairly common thing found in gerbils. Mostly the cause is dust in the bedding of pine and cedar which should be removed immediately as gerbils shouldn't have pine and cedar due to the oils, the natural oils in them. Simply change the bedding to one that your gerbil can have. Another cause of sore nose is when they constantly chew at bars and the fur gets rubbed off of their nose. Like sooty has this problem but um, it's common and if they chew the bars because they either like the sound or they're bored or something but it's it's fairly common and it's nothing to worry about. To prevent your gerbil getting so a sore nose or to stop them getting a sore nose is to place them in a tank instead of a cage of bars like the gerbilarium Sooty and Hugo has obviously has bars and that's why Sooty has a sore nose but it's Sooty doesn't have it very extreme it's just it's basically just the fur's rubbed off. If it starts to bleed or um, gets red and raw, then you will need to put cream on it or take them to the vets or something. But I wouldn't worry too much if it's just the fur has rubbed off. Lastly, a gerbil's teeth constantly grow, meaning that they will need things to chew on, such as wood, cardboard and crunchy food, to wear their teeth down. Here I just have an empty cardboard tube a Toys from t Trees orange chew, a kiwi stick, a cheesy chew and a just a wooden block that I got from uh, Pound Stretchers. So they will need things to chew on. If they don't, their teeth will grow so long that they will now need to be uh, chopped from the at the vets. Um, 
but they shouldn't get to this stage as they should always have something to chew on. Sorry if these vi this video has been long, but I feel that your gerbil's health is one of the most important things to know. Thank you for watching, please comment, rate and subscribe. Bye!